We, we, to an extent, we're crystal ball gazing and trying to decide what robots will do to the future of jobs. And there are certainly a number of things that people do at the moment that will be um, replaced by robots. And there, that this isn't just um, mechanical skills, because machine-based learning and artificial intelligence mean that there are a lot of predictive and diagnostic cognitive jobs that will be um, replaced or partly replaced by robots. Um, but I think we have to take a, a positive view of this because that has always been the case in every um, industrial revolution change that has been, and there have been big structural um, problems and fears, um, but ultimately there are things that humans are doing very well and possibly better than, uh, well, I think, better than robots can do. They can empathise, they can care, and they can make human relationships. Um, and we may free ourselves up to do those things. It seems to me that the really important thing for us to do is not to feel that our future is um, uh, determined by what will happen technologically. We have to make choices about the future we want for work and then structure our policy around uh, making sure that the way um, technology develops uh, is to achieve those goals because humans can make policy choices and we can set out the vision for the society we want and then try to structure our, our social policy um, and economic policy around that.